What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of the brand new Wrong Turn reboot movie. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Okay, who here asked for Wrong Turn Reboot movie? Did you ask for a Wrong Turn Reboot? Did you? Or was it you? Did anybody here ask for a new version of Wrong Turn? No. Then why the hell does this movie exist? And calling it a reboot would be terribly misleading because this is also scripted by the same damn writer of the first film. So sure, he can switch the villains from cannibalistic inbreds to a creepy cult, but the nature of the hillbilly backwoods story remains the same. Nothing really changes. It is just as bad and as ridiculous and as unimaginative as the original. Written by Alan B. McElroy, directed by Mike P. Nelson, in Wrong Turn, Jen and a group of friends set out to hike the Appalachian Trail. Despite warnings to stick to the trail, the hikers stray off course and cross into land inhabited by the Foundation, a hidden community of mountain dwellers who use deadly means to protect their way of life. Suddenly under siege, Jen and her friends seem headed to the point of no return unless Jen's father can reach them in time. I'm gonna be honest with you, the reason I sat through this torture session is because I have a massive celeb crush on one of its stars, actress Emma DeMont. Hey, get off your self-righteous high horse, man. We all know that a big chunk of why we checked out the original 2003 film is because it featured Eliza Dushku, Emmanuel Shiriki, and Lindy Booth. Getting lost in the woods with those three would not be so scary now, would it? All those movies are about one thing anyway, pretty people in peril. Okay. Putting all that shallowness aside and on to the substance, this movie is one giant horror trope that's been played out and exhausted. Now, if this new wrong turn has a fresh spin on it, then perhaps we would have some interesting points over which to discuss. But the problem is it doesn't. And it doesn't reinvent the wheel either. There's no clever twist at all. It's pretty much the most basic, uninspired slasher you can think of. This whole thing looks like the work of somebody who saw Ari Aster's Midsommar and thought that he could do one better. Boy, is he wrong. I only watched the original 2003 movie once. And I've never watched its many, many sequels. They look awful, by the way, but at the very least, the original had that thrill of the chase, you know? But this new version puts more emphasis on the gory violence that can only terrify the easily squeamish. It's so over the top, and some of it even borderlines comical, and the movie often breaks its own momentum. The lead protagonist is a one-dimensional Mary Sue, and the lead villain has no charm whatsoever. I mean, what a total bore! An absolute time waster! Some horror fans might end up filing this new wrong turn under guilty pleasure, and hey, to each his own, man! If you view this as a popcorn Saturday night movie, then you do you, boo. But I, for one, have no intention of ever revisiting it again. 